Hello and welcome to part 81 of the Road to Glory Save here on Football Manager 22. My name is Russ Cump. Today we have our season review and transfer special. Possibly the first game of the new season. Let's see how it goes. Um, in this episode we are going to be looking to build a team ready to take the, prem the Premiership by storm. We want to get promoted. We've reached the final of the playoffs in the last one. Losing night to Brentford 2-0. So the season coming up, we want that promotion. We know we're good enough. We just need to sort the defence out and the goalkeeper. So let's get straight into the season review then. We look at our signings of the season. Undoubtedly Marshall has picked up that award. Paid 30k for him, paid 48 goals. Um, absolutely fantastic signing. He was a, a, well, a League 2 standard goalkeeper, but playing like a, a world-class goalkeeper. But I don't think he's going to be the goalkeeper that we need for next season. I think we need definitely need to improve on that. Other notable signings, Alfie Wall joined us in January, had a decent season, 20 games, a uh, decent half season with us, 7.35 rating. Richard Fay also joined us um, quite late in the in, in, in the window, he was out with the national team as well, so he only managed to pay eight goals for us, scoring one goal, three assists and a 7.27 rating. Francisco Sima managed to get him in on loan again for next season, he had a decent season with us, 7.21 after 31 games. Robbie Fordyce, um, our new record sign-in, yeah, he had a good season. And Arne Gardson had also had a decent season. Romero, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do next season as he gets older and, and integrates himself better in the team. Allsop's leaving us. Muir didn't really need him. Um, Pedro Tomas didn't play a lot. Uh, he's only 20. Still learning his craft with us and I don't know why I signed that player. I really don't know why I signed that player. Transfers out. I don't normally do this page. Paul Mohammed, uh, five goals in 13 games. Um, yeah, let's just not look at this. There's no point. Season results. So in the league, we got a C plus. Board were pleased of reaching the final of the Skybet Championship. Um, we predicted to finish bottom. So why we've not got a an A for this this season, I don't know. Maxed out the uh, the stadium though, 100%. So the the, the the board need to uh, need to address that. They even need to move us to a stadium where we can get more fans in because clearly six and a half thousand fans isn't enough for us. We need to be filling out a bigger stadium. Um, what else can we see from here? The FA Cup knocked out in the third round by Brentford. They had our number for the whole season. And Carabao Cup, Middlesbrough beat us 6 3. So, all in all, league was absolutely fantastic for us. Moments to remember, 6-2 victory over Ipswich was our biggest win. The match to remember was a 1-1 draw with Huddersfield. I don't know why that's a match to remember. Um, I think maybe maybe the draws against a draw against Cardiff or draw against Preston would have been more significant there. And the goal of the season came from Hap in a 3-2 victory over Barnsley. Um, sort of got us back into that game, equalised, the goal, equalised for us. Um, so yeah, decent goal from a defender. Finances, uh, we're still a two and a half star national reputation club. No new sponsorship deals. Uh, sponsorship revenue is exactly the same. Broadcast revenue's gone up by a hell of a lot. Um, nearly two and a half million more than what we had last season. It's because we're on telly a lot more. Corporate and hospitality's gone up as well by 64k. No competition prize money this season and match day commercial revenue is down. In terms of merchandise, we shipped uh, 375k of that. Uh, nearly 40k of that was um, non-domestic sales. Sold 4,770 shirts. Hugh Gill being the uh, top shirt seller. We knew that was going to happen. He scored so many goals for us. Jaeger's still up there. Bacon with his assist. Holm in four dice. No space for Emerson though. Although I think Emerson's going to become a bit part player next season. We need to find a, a strike partner for Hugh Gill who's going to be at his standard. How we lined up. Again, these two ran the wrong way. It should be Hugh Gill there and Emerson there. Holman Bacon out in the wings. Jaeger and Fordyce. This is the team. This is the team that, uh, that is, is proven how decent we actually are. Accolades. So I won manager of the month for January. I'm kind of hoping I'm going to win manager of the, of the season again um, in the championship but let, let's just see what happens fans player of the season Joe Hugill uh, young player of the season is Alfie War. signing of the season is Philip Marshall we knew about that one 
Dan Happ's got goal of the season, which we knew about. Top goal scorer, again, Joe Hugo, 38 goals this season. 43 last year, 38 this one. He just knows how to find the back of the net. Most assist again is Bacon. It's uh, half of what he scored uh, assisted last year, but still a good return. Seven man of the matches as well for Bacon puts him there. Highest average rate again is Hugo, 7.6. And Alfie Wall had the most pass completions per 90 at 105. Record breakers, Joe Hugo is now our record goal scorer for the club. Um, 106 goals scored for us. Uh, he's only going to improve on that. He's staying with us for another four, he's four seasons, I think it is. He's going to score at least over 150. Youngest player, Stefan Herman. Uh, highest transfer fee paid was for Robbie Fordyce. We knew about that. And Zach Wall is the most we've received for a player. So Zach Wall leaves, Holly Wall comes in. So that is our season review. A couple of, um, well, we knew about these records. Highest we've ever finished, 6th place, 80 points in the championship. Sets a new highest rating for the championship as well. It's 7.61. That's uh, Joe Hugill. Pairs inducted into our best 11. We're still playing with this uh, a 5-3-2. We knew Hugill was in there. Clifton's now joined. Osborne's still out on the right. And other players haven't really... Uh, Influence this. Bacon's now on the bench. Emerson's on the bench. So I think Bacon's going to end up getting into the first team when this shifts. I keep saying that every season, though, don't I? Uh, let's have a look at our budget. So they've given us a wage budget of 98k and just over three and a half million to spend on players. So that's going to go on defenders and a goalkeeper and possibly a striker. I know I kept, like I said, um, we need to find someone who's going to be at Hugo's level. Maybe we'll get a free transfer for that uh, that role. Um, what are the club wanting us to do? So they want play entertaining football, play attacking football, possession-based football and high-tempo football. We did all that last season. Work within the wage budget and they are going to be building us a new stadium by the looks of things. Again, they want us to avoid, um, avoid relegation. I want promotion. Uh, let's just agree to that and let's see what else is in the inbox for us. I uh, will do the team meeting off camera. Um, it doesn't say anything about a new stadium. Joe Hugill gets Championship Player of the Season. Let's congratulate him, shake his hand. Boom, offered him that. And he wins top goal scorer, so... Yeah, and he's, in the, and he's in the team of the season. We've got a decent player on our hands there. Absolutely fantastic. We have a look at the squad depth. Um, with the positions that we play, yeah, Emerson's now only a two and a half star ability player, so we definitely need to bring someone in who's going to replace him. Ludwig Holm plays out on the left wing, he's not a striker, so that's not an option. Midfield, we're okay. Defence, we need players. We need a right back, and I think we need two centre backs, and we definitely need a goalkeeper, so that's where all our money's going to be going this summer. So, the board have announced plans to build a new stadium. Um, they don't know how much it's going to cost. Don't know if it's going to have a roof. Don't know when it's going to start. Don't know the capacity. Don't know the surface. Don't know under soil, under soil heating. We don't know when it's going to be complete. So, um, are the council going to um, are going to help us? The main reason behind this was the hamlet needed to accommodate for bigger crowds due to the ticket demand of the home matches at the Hive. It's because we sold it out every game. Um, we are looking for suitable sites and possible investors. So it's not a smooth process, but sometime before the plans we finalise are put into action. Um, yeah. Maybe they're going to move us from the Hive as well. I mean, they can move us to another stadium in London that's going to accommodate us for the amount of fans that we want to put in here. That would be great. So come on board. Work it out. We've got our first player through the door. Dwight Studdard joins us. He's a 24-year-old centre-back. Can also play right-back as well. Uh, comes in as a three-and-a-half star current ability, four-star potential. Joins us for 875k from Swansea. Played 18 games for them last season. They've been relegated. He wanted to leave, so we picked him up. If we have a look at the centre-back roles, heading of 12, marking a 12, tackling 12, uh, physical stats look really good as well. He's quite a nippy defender, so if we pay him on the right back position, 
in the fullback support where we actually play. Crossing needs some working, but everyone else looks pretty decent, pretty good with this sign in. Um, so, yeah, let's see who else we can bring in. We're still looking at a striker, still looking at a goalkeeper, and still looking at a centre back. So, we've got the review for the championship here. We have got the biggest overachievers. Yeah, I'd say that. Um, reaching the playoff finals when we were meant to fight relegation is a it's a huge achievement for us. Um, championship signing the season was Philippe Marshall. Yeah, very good player. Shame he's a uh, shame he's quite leaky at the back. There's 72 goals conceded. We've changed a few of the rules and I'm trying to bring this player in and they've rejected our bid. So I'm going to go back in for him though. Um, next next well, next update for you guys would be whatever transfers I can bring in. Well, I say the next update is going to be the a player come in. It's actually not. It's ticked over into the new season. Let's see where the media predicts we are going to finish. 19th. So it's an improvement on bottom from last year. In terms of the best 11, Dream 11, no one in there. It's uh, full up of teams that come down from the Premiership. Uh, Brighton. Crystal Palace and Sheffield United are in there. Portsmouth are favourites to win the league. Key players, Hugo's going to be in here at somewhere there. There he is, quite far down though. Do we have anyone else in there? Frank Romero's in there as well. And that is it so far. So we need to bring some players in that are going to uh, really shake up that uh, Dream Eleven and get, uh, get some, some, yeah, some decent players into the club. We have the draw for the first round of the Carabao Cup. Who have we got? Away to Sutton, so it should be an easy game for us, although Port Vale did make it quite hard for us last season. So it is the 30th of June. It is time to say goodbye to some players at the club. So leaving us is Sam Raksaki, Adam Humphreys, Branko Nezevic, Alfie Dutton, Alex Haley, Edward Cousins, and Kai Evans. Um, none of them were going to make it into the championship. I, I had high hopes for Cousins, had high hopes for Haley, but it just hasn't worked out. So we've released them. We're going to go around the Premiership sides now, see who they've released, like big name wise, see if we can bring them in and improve the squad. We have a young attacking midfielder in for the door, Robert Cochrane. Um, joins us on a free he, after leaving Manchester United. Uh, can play in the centre midfield, can also play in the attacking midfield role, which we don't really use that often anymore. Uh, first touch of 16, long shots of 13, passing of 16, technique 14. Physicals look decent enough. Uh, needs to work on his strength though. Mentals, that can only improve. He's only 19, so um, yeah. I reckon he'll be a decent signing for us in a couple of years' time. Two-star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential. We have a young Spanish goalkeeper coming to us, Dario Carbala. Uh, Two-star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential goalkeeper. Joins us on a free from Vigo. Um, looking at his stats, he can improve. He's 20 years old. I think he could potentially replace uh, Marshall in goal. I'm struggling to find a decent goalkeeper to replace him at the moment, so we're probably going to have to go with Marshall this season. Um, adds to our other Spanish uh, young goalkeeper that we have in Arcanada. Probably going to loan him out again this season. He's uh, one and a half star current ability at the moment, so he, he does need to improve. We have signed a centre back. Three star current ability, four star potential. Owen Jones from Manchester City joins us on a free. Plays in that centre back role, so tackling of 40, marking of 12, heading of 11, bravery of 18. Physicals look absolutely incredible. Uh, definitely going to add us a little bit of support in the back, is what we need. Um, I don't know if he's played any games at champ Premiership level, just the one for Man City. Um, is a bit of a risk, but then again, it is a free transfer. We're still working on a few goalkeeper deals. I'll let you know as soon as they come in. So, we are in for the first game of the new season, starting off away against Reading. If we have a look at the media prediction, they're still thinking 19th, still no one in the Dream 11. I'm guessing it's just going to be Hugh Gill and. Was it Fordyce in there earlier? So, Hugh Gill was there. 
and no, it's Romero. Sorry, Romero is still in in the uh, the, the key players. So let's, uh, let's jump into the game then. We are going with Marshall in goal, a back four of Romero, Wall, Jones and Sto uh, Studdard. Bates and Jager uh, Jager in the, uh, well, the centre of midfield. Holman Bacon on the wings and Hugh Gill and Emerson up front. Uh, other notable potential debuts is uh, Carballa on the bench and that is it. First highlight is for us a corner. Bacon puts it in. It's been cleared. Uh, Jaeger's picked up the loose ball on the right-hand side. Pumps it over. Finds Bacon. Finds the cross for Holm. Uh, Hugh Gill, Bacon. Can someone just put it goalwards? Highlight does end there. It's a bit of a wasted opportunity for us there. Um, maybe we should have scored from it. Redding with the free kick. They've worked it out on that right-hand side. They've got loads of space there. In comes the cross. We've got it clear. It's only as far as a Redding player. They, were, um, they get the crossbar and we've got this ball clear so far. Emerson and the highlight does end. It's a decent effort from uh, Red in there. Just let him have a little bit of space on the edge of the box and they smash it against the crossbar. Two minutes of time added on at the end of this half. Um, both teams were up for it. I think we are edging it match stats wise with the three shots on target we've had. Uh, one clear cut chance as well. I think with the second half we are going to go on the attacking, uh, the attacking mentality. Substitution around the 70 minute mark. We have brought Ramsey on. Emerson's on the ball now. A bait's come off for him. Jones into wall. Finds home. Hugh Gill's got a little bit of space. Works it to Emerson. Ramsey's got free. And the goalkeeper makes a decent save. Puts it out for a corner for us. Bacon's going to whip this one across. And it's straight to the goalkeeper. He punches it clear. Ramsey into Jones. And the highlight does end there. It's another decent opportunity where we should have really scored. Both Romero and Stoddard are coming off for the last 10 minutes. William, Williams and Gleadson coming on for them. Um, 17 shots, 10 of those on target. We still haven't scored. Ramsey, Redding have got a throw in on their right hand side. We've given them a little bit of space. Lunging challenge there and they've scored from it. They've, they've not really been in this game whatsoever. Given that little bit of space on the edge of the box in the 85th minute and they put it in the back of the net. 1-0 to Reading. Oh, difficult to say uh, how we can improve really. Again the defensive issues are, are they're clear to see. Four minutes of time added on at the end of this game. It's not the start of the season I wanted. Now you go, full time. 1-0 to Reading. We've got a lot to do here. A lot of improving to do. Let's have a look at the uh, the schedule then. I want to get as far into the season as I possibly can. So we'll probably come back for... Probably come back for the Portsmouth in Stoke game. We'll play the rest of August and September off camera. Come back for those two games. If you guys enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey. And thank you very much for watching.